Welcome to the place where country music began, and believe it or not, it is not Nashville. It is Scott County in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Scott County is a perfect destination for tourists who are music, nature, history, outdoors, and uncommon shopping buffs. Its rich history spans 8,000 years. Visitors can follow in the footsteps of Daniel Boone, visit breathtaking railroad trestles, or trace the history of country music. Scott County's rivers, mountains, forests, and farms offer a wealth of beauty and adventure to appeal to every taste. Come paddle the Clinch River, which has been named by the Nature Conservancy as the number one river worth protecting in the United States. Hike through three types of forest community on the Chief Bench Scout Trail. You can even play golf on a course with a breathtaking view. Country music started here in Scott County with the famous Carter family, A.P., Sarah, and Maybell. A center has been established to honor the Carter family, which is affectionately named the Carter Fold, and here each and every Saturday night, old-time and bluegrass music is preserved and played only on acoustic instruments. Through the years, many famous people have graced the stage of Carter Fold. Johnny and June Carter Cash, Marty Stewart, Ricky Skaggs, Doyle Lawson, Rhonda Vincent, and John Paul Jones of Led Zeppelin, Ralph Stanley, and Jesse McReynolds of Jim and Jesse, just to name a few. The Carter Family Memorial Music Center was actually established in 1979. It was established after my mom, Jeanette Carter, started to have music shows here in the little store we're in in 1974. Uh, this was a grocery that my granddad, A.P. Carter, ran in the 50s. Uh, she um, wanted to do something to fulfill a promise that she had made to him as he was dying to try and keep the music of the Carter family alive. The only way that she knew to do that was to start presenting music shows. Uh, so she started music shows here in the building we're in today. Uh, they quickly outgrew this building. A large performance theater was built in 1976. And when that happened, this building actually became a museum. Also located on the property is the original log house that AP lived in, as well as a Carter Family Museum in what was once AP's general store where the music actually got its beginning. Because of our rich musical heritage, we have many venues throughout the county where one can find someone singing old-time music on almost any day of the week. It was in Scott County that the famous Daniel Boone blazed the trails and actually walked the trails that we still have here in the county. As a result of those many hard-fought battles, we have original and near-perfect replicas of the buildings that were used during those tumultuous times, buildings such as the Anderson Blockhouse, Kilgore Fort House, and Bush Mill. A festival is held each year, Siege of the Blockhouse, when reenactors showcase the times in the lives of those pioneers who were making their way westward. Boone gathered up 30 axemen at the blockhouse, Anderson Blockhouse, which is located on the north fork of the Holston River, and departed, and they blazed the trail from that point through Cumberland Gap into Kentucky. They didn't actually create the road. The road had already been created by animals who were following salt licks north and south, and then later it became an Indian trail. But Boone and his axemen blazed the trail so that travelers would not get lost making their way through the wilderness. Even farther back in history, a small stream of water started cutting its way through a crevice in the limestone mountain, and now thousands of years later, we have the eighth wonder of the world, Natural Tunnel, which is surrounded by many acres of state land called Natural Tunnel State Park. Well, the Natural Tunnel, 850 feet long, was a lot of different theories of how the tunnel was formed. Uh, involved uh, water dissolving the surrounding bedrock, 
uh, through thousands of years and there's actually a fault line, the Glenida Fault, that runs through the natural tunnel and through that zone of structural weakness the water seeped through and opened up the tunnel and what's remaining of that is what we see today. The railroad was put through in uh, around 1890 and at that time was a major, uh, developed to be a major coal hauling route as it is today out of southwest Virginia. The, uh, through the years it was a passenger route, timber, uh, it's today primarily a coal hauling route. Uh, back in the 20s and 30s, even during Prohibition, the, tr the train would stop here from Bristol, drop uh, folks off. Uh, they would have parties at a pavilion that was at the mouth of Natural Tunnel. So it was a very popular spot, tourist destination, even back in that day. We want you all to know that here in this warm and friendly county, you can sit on a porch, listen to stories, touch history, hear the old-time bluegrass music in its original form, experience our natural beauty when you walk, ride horses, bike, pedal or canoe our river, visit our uncommon shops and eateries, play golf, and at the end of the day, you can find a cozy place to lay your head while you envision all that Scott County has to offer the next day.